What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, Demos Diecast. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Shout out to all of our returning viewers and subscribers. Thank you, thank you. And welcome to all of the first time viewers and new subscribers to the channel. Welcome, welcome. Uh, as you can see for today's backdrop, we have some exotic cars set up at Tiny Cars in the parking lot. So, first up to bat, we have the Porsche 918 Spider. Uh, we have the McLaren P1, we have a Lamborghini STO, we have the Bugatti Chiron Supersport, and back here we have the Pagani Huayra BC. So that's going to lead us into today's video, which is going to be another uh, pretty rare exotic. It might not compete with some of the cars that we see here power-wise, um, but as far as rareness and exoticness, it definitely is up there. So, boom. Lexus LFA 2010 crazy super super sick uh, found this on shop app uh, I don't remember the company that I ordered it from uh, but when I edit the video I'll put the name in here uh, this was dirt cheap it was like $9.99 plus shipping um, it did come from Canada but so uh, shipping was a little bit more than what you would like from the United States, but um, all in all, super sick. Uh, the brand is called DCT Diecast Team, and this is a licensed product, Toyota officially licensed. So awesome, really, really sick. Let's get this out of the package, take a closer look. Boom, there it is. This thing is nuts. Like, so so sick uh, nice beautiful satin black paint on there um, let's go ahead and take a closer look so yeah bam right off the bat that black satin paint is insane love it absolutely love it the quality on this model for like 10 bucks is outrageous um, very very impressed so far really really impressed uh, so boom you have that classic uh, tri exhaust in the rear that comes on the LFA um, you don't get open venting but you get some texture there to make it look like the open venting on the rear um, you do get that nice Le uh, Lexus logo here on the rear deck lid LFA license plate Really nice lens tails. Fitment looks good. I don't see any over glue or anything on them. So really, really sick. Reflective on that mirror there. So super nice there. Uh, good door handle, like texture at least. I believe this is where the door handle is up in here. Uh, keyhole, nice definition there. Uh, you do get your F badge there on the front fender. Um, beautiful red leather racing seats inside man crazy good detail on that center console that's insane right there um interested to see if that's painted or not it doesn't look like it but really really good texture detail in there uh let's take a look at the front do get a lexus badge on the front bumper there headlights don't look the greatest so it looks like this one's kind of like painted black, whereas this one's all clear. Um, fitment issue there, a little bit of a fitment issue there. Some venting for the hood. Uh, windshield wiper there, cowl detail underneath. Um, good detail on the front bumper. Again, venting and whatnot. It's not actually open, but they did give it good texture to give it the idea. Uh, amber side markers there as well. So all in all, um, not too bad, not too shabby. I do love these black chrome wheels and we do have a full roller as well. So that's even more sick. Um, really, really dope. Uh, this is gonna be a plastic base. 
but uh, it is screwed together front and rear and both of those are accessible not a crazy amount of detail on the exhaust drivetrain or anything like that um, but all in all this is a really solid model for 10 bucks i'm not gonna lie so i'll definitely drop the link of um, the shop on shop app that i got this from and uh, you guys go check them out so um yeah not too crazy today um the rest of the models that we have back here um are also going to be a couple different brands so yeah no issues with rolling and those chrome wheels are crazy that looks amazing uh wow yes super happy so the bugatti chiron super sport back here this is going to be a mini gt model again matte slash satin black paint really really beautiful model um mini gt did a great job on this car excellent job um back here we have the huayra bc this is going to be a tarmac global um 64 so it is a full roller no issues with that you do get some really really good detail on this one as well tail lights exhaust uh, mirrors are going to be rigid on this one so you do got to be careful uh, but this is a beautiful beautiful casting um, up here we're going to have the Lamborghini Huracan STO uh, this is a mini GT model this is the catalog color that they used when they first released this car so I figured I wanted to pick this one up kind of like the same colors of the golf livery but um all in all yeah this is just like the the press release car that they did with this one so had to pick that up i don't have a ton of st this is the only sto actually i have and i probably won't get more unless it's like a super iconic colorway uh here we have the poster cars mclaren p1 um full roller on this again this was another like inexpensive brand uh 9.99 for these off of super mini wheels on ebay uh, great detail, great product. Uh, painted up tails on this. Unfortunately, there is no wing that goes up or they didn't put a wing in the up position. A uh, little bit unfortunate on that. But other than that, beautiful, beautiful model. And last but not least, this one is also a poster cars, the Porsche 918 Spider. Uh, full roller on this one as well. Good brake detail back there. You can see the caliper and the rotor. Um, this one has lensed up, lens tails good like paint and exhaust detail for the engine there and lens headlights on this one again this one was a price point of like 9.99 so excellent excellent value but um all in all yeah i am super happy to add this one lexus lfa in black i think the only other more iconic color would be in all white so um boom guys let me know down in the comments what you thought about this one uh do you have any lfas in your collection uh, the only other LFA I have is the Matchbox Moving Parts or Matchbox Collectors with the opening doors that was released last year. Um, so this is super dope to add this one to the premium uh, diecast collection. So uh, again, drop a comment. And uh, if you guys haven't already, make sure you smash that like button. Don't forget to drop a subscription. And we appreciate you guys tuning in. Have a great rest of your week out there. And we will see you all soon on the next one. One love.